Hello and welcome back. It's great to see you here today. Uh, today we are in the Firefly Forest and we are helping out Flora figure out what's happening here. So we're getting more information. Uh, we're going to get through this screen and then I think we'll be getting pretty close to uh, where we're going to be getting uh, new info. We have a new pet here, uh, but we're going to go up through this way to make sure we only have one battle. So we will be battling this shark after we go ahead and get the dandelions. I don't know if we'll be able to get the dandelions before though. So let's get started on today's journey as we end up looking at mixed operations. We should have one or two data relationships to finish up. All right, and we got that before. 10 florins and 30 gold, no dirty socks today. All right, and... Oof. For a second, I didn't think we were gonna trigger that. For a second, I thought we might have just walk right around. Uh, be sure to like, be sure to subscribe as we go through our second grade math. Uh, we're gonna, we have two sharks. We're gonna do uh, crook fang, so we're gonna do supernova. Oh, it actually looks like crook fang in another gosh. Okay, so this says, how many students picked dog? So this equals one student. So one, two, three, four, four students picked dog. Remember, you can read it out loud and use the uh, light bulbs when you have questions. Let's cast our spell. Woohoo! awesome. And up we go. And down we come. Let's see what Supernova does. All right, that is 2131. That is just about half. So I think one more, and we should be able to hopefully knock both of them out. Let's see. Uh, yeah, let's go ahead and rescue you. You are new as well. Yes, let's try to break the mind illusion. How much does one apple cost? So first we have to figure out what these dollar symbols equal, and the dollar symbol equals one dollar. So an apple, the cost of the fruit is what we're measuring. One, two, three, four, five. Five dollars for one apple. That is just about right these days. Okay, woohoo, we got that one right. And come to us, Crook Fang. Yay. All right, he's excited. We are excited to have you, buddy. That's awesome. Okay, let's click next. And this is Naughty. So let's go ahead and click Naughty. I really like that name. That's an awesome pun. Naw means to chew. And then naughty sounds like it's a bad boy. <laughs> so let's go ahead and yes, we'll rescue you as well. Um, how many students answered in total? Uh, the smiley face equals one student. So this is the ways they get to school. So let's add this up. This is one, two, three, four, five. One less than five is four. So five plus four is nine, 10, 11. So 11 is how many people answered in total. If you do need to count individually, that's perfectly fine. But using your math skills as you look at pictures, using your ability to, um, uh, ooh, I wonder if the word will pop in my brain, um, to uh, subitize is very important in getting that information, which means just looking at a number and being able to see, yay, we got naughty, um, what that number is, what it represents. Cool, 21 battle stars. We might hit level 58 today. It's getting a little harder to climb up, and that is okay. Uh, let's open up the chest. Looks like we just got a florin. 20 florins, awesome. And then let's hug over here. Hug over here. Climb on up here. All right, so we're gonna go this way. So I think we'll, after we get the uh, Blow the dandelions, hopefully there's a sock. Nope, yay, awesome. Cool, we got an old sock. Let's go ahead and, let's see if we can get around the wizard actually. Nope, we can't, okay. So let's see who we are battling. Ooh, that is a cute hat, Luminite, awesome. So let's do Supernova first, let's get that started. Look at the addition sentence, 43 plus 16 equals 59. Which subtraction sentence is the inverse of the addition sentence? So the inverse would mean that it is uh, the opposite of the uh, uh, addition sentence, and you would be finding the uh, you 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 would be working uh, uh, back. At, sorry. <laughs> sorry, you would be working backwards from it. And so what we're looking at is a number that would be part of the same fact family where the whole number is 59, where one of the parts is 16, where one of the parts is 43. And if you get to the word inverse and you're not quite sure, 
do click on here and it says that did not come out right. Let's try that one more time. Yeah, this is not this is not working right so we can write an addition sentence as a subtraction sentence using the same numbers. For example, 14 plus 9 equals 23 can be written as subtraction. 23 minus 9 equals 14 or 23 minus 14 equals 9. All right, so I think maybe because I have it on full screen, it's not uh, that that wasn't working quite right. But so we're looking for four, either 59 minus 43 equals 16 or 59 minus 16 equals 43. I, I can see right here we have all of the three same numbers. None of the numbers are going to change. This one has a 15 and a 44, so that's not going to be the inverse. It's not going to be part of the same fact family. And this one, 43 is the largest number, so there's no 59. And um, so, yeah, so this is the correct answer. A is the correct answer. All right. So up, up we go. And I hope we can rescue this Luminite. That would be awesome. You gonna give us a chance to uh Okay, so here comes the ion cannon. Now this Luminite, if we do supernova, uh we should be able to rescue it the next turn. Which addition sentence is the inverse of the subtraction sentence? Okay, so 43 minus 16 equals 27. We're looking for the inverse addition sentence. Um, so we, it the total would be 43. 16 plus 27 or 27 plus 16. So we have 16 plus 27. The answer is 43. So that's right. This is this is the one. 25 is not in the fact family. And 59 is not in the fact family. So A is our answer. And we've double checked our work. All right. Woohoo. So up we go. And I hope we are able to rescue this Luminite. It just looks like he wants to come over and hang out with us, doesn't it? Okay, and let's see what Luminite does to us. Ion Cannon. And boom, he missed. Okay, thank you, buddy. It does not look like we can rescue the Luminite. So let's go ahead and do Supernova here. And we'll see if we can wrap this one up. Fill in the blanks to write the subtraction sentence that is the inverse of the addition sentence below. So 21 plus 79 equals 100. Remember, we're doing second grade work. So 100 is what we're going to subtract. And we have the 79. So we need 100 minus 21 is going to equal 79. So we're just writing the inverse. We're playing around with the numbers in order to make the math happen so we don't have to work this out. Let's cast that spell. Woohoo! Playing around with it flexibly in our brains uh, really helps us to do things faster and to understand how things are working out. So we don't want to work out all of the problems if we can use logic to get to that answer because logic is an essential part of mathematics too. All right, we won. Woohoo! 21 battle stars. One more battle, and I think we are going to go ahead and hit 58, which is awesome. And let's open up our chest. So we got a bunch of gold there, 200 gold coins. Okay, let's head on up and see what is going on here. Okay, so here are the... Oh, let's see. There's the firefly. Oh, you tricked me. Um, okay, so we have... Oh, that's right. We're getting mangroves. So here we have some mangroves and uh, we have to collect five mangroves. So we might not finish this task today, but that's okay. We also have a new uh, uh, monster, which is so exciting to see these new monsters. So I'm going to go ahead and click on uh, have the battle, try to collect the, man the mangroves, and then we're going to find out what is happening with our mangroves. I think there was only one falling star smash I was talking, so I wasn't quite focusing. Okay, fill in the blanks to write the addition sentence that is the universe, that is the inverse of the subtraction sentence below. Okay, so now for this, remember, subtraction, we are starting with a whole and we're breaking it apart to find out a part of it. In addition, we are adding up to figure out what the whole is. So for subtraction, we subtract one of the parts to find the other part. In addition, we add two of the parts to find uh, the total. And so 
We have our 35 here, so 47 is going to go right over here. 47 plus 35, that's going to be 82. Remember, I don't have to do the math because we're looking at the fact family. We're looking at the information that we already have that we've already collected. All right, Arboreal and 2263 points of damage. Ooh, you're going to be a tough one, aren't you? Here comes Forest Hurricane and misses. Woo. Okay, Falling Star Smash Arboreal. Let's see if you're ready. Pick the sign that will make the sentence true. 725 and then 25 equals 700. Well, I can tell from 725 to 700, we are going down. We are descending. And so um, 725 is greater than 700. So we need to be subtracting for this one because we su when we subtract, we go lower. So 725 minus 25 equals 700. That is true. Woohoo! An arboreal boom. And then I think we can go ahead and see Forest Hurricane Bam 1231. And yes, let's rescue you. Yes, let's break the mind illusion. Okay, fill in the missing number in the pattern. 900, 800, 700, blank, 500. So the uh, missing number would be 600. So 900s, 800s, 700s, 600s, 500s. If, you, if thinking about it that way helps you, then that's great because it's just like 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, except we're in the hundreds place. Let's cast that spell. Woohoo! And here we go. Come to us, Arboreal. Come to us. Yay. All right. So we got a new pet, Arboreal. That is super exciting. We won. And all right. We hit 58. Yes. That is exciting. All right. Here are more stars for us. We gain five stars. Open up the chest. 100 gold coins, 20 florins. Awesome. Let's grab this mangrove first. And then let's see if we can grab this one without triggering a battle. We did. Awesome. And we can head on down this way now. We're going to go south. And ooh, we have them all right here. And then we have two uh, monsters to battle. I think that we can go ahead and let's get this finished up. All right, so we've got one mangrove. I love this monster right here. It's so cute. Dreamlet. Hello, hello, Dreamlet. Okay, Supernova. So Len has two pieces of ribbon he needs to join together with some tape. One piece of ribbon was 90 inches long and the other was 8 inches long. What will the total length be if he tapes them together? Write a math sentence that represents the problem and then solve. So he's taping them together, so the, the total is going to be longer. So 90 inches plus 8 inches. It's changing by 8 inches because he's taping them together. And then 98 inches would be our total. 90 plus 8 is 98. Woohoo! Awesome, awesome. And pretty good damage, pretty good damage. I think we're going to go ahead and use um, our last supernova. So we've been having battle after battle. I usually like to, you know, generate my mana back up, but I think we're gonna keep on using our, our uh, mana up for these battles. Select the pair of numbers that have a sum of 17 and a difference of seven. Okay, so sums we get when we add the difference is going to be our uh, product of subtraction. So let's let's go ahead and just see which ones are adding that add up first. I'll put a little uh, circle over here for them. 13 plus 4 is 17. 12 plus 5 is 17. I do this in my head by thinking about 2 plus 5 and plus 10. So 2 plus 5 is 7 plus 10 is 17. 1 plus 6 is 7, plus 10 is 17. 3 plus 6 is 9, plus, one, plus 10 is 19. So this is going to be 
not right. Okay, so now, 13 minus 4, that is going to be 9. So this is going to actually be, does not have a difference of 7. 12 minus 5, that equals 7. So we're going to circle that one. That one looks like that. B looks like it's the answer, but let's double check. 11 minus 6 is 5, so let's cross that out. And then uh, 13 minus 6 is also 7. Okay, so we have two answers, and it says select the pair of numbers that have. So there are two answers that we need. Let's see. Oh, sorry. <laughs> okay. So it's always good to double check your work and also write out because 13 plus 6 equals up to, adds up to uh, 19. It has a sum of 19. So B is the only one where we have two circles here. So writing out your answers and showing your work so that you can go ahead and double check. Wait, why isn't this working out? You don't have to start all the way at the beginning. That's always really helpful. Okay. I'm glad I did that. So 2285 points of damage for Dreamlet, and it looks like we will be able to go ahead and uh, save Dreamlet right after this, which I'm super excited about. Yeah, let's rescue you. Okay. Complete the statement for the number 62. The digit 2 is in the, well, 2 is in the 1's place, and it has a value of 2. So this should be our right answer. Let's find out why the other ones are wrong. It's not in the 10's place. It does not have a value of 20. It's not in the tens place and does not have a value of 20. So A is the right answer. Woohoo! And come to us, Dreamlet. Yay! Awesome. Cool. Okay, so now that's awesome. Here we have Pomprickle. And Overgrowth is going to come at us. And let's see what happens. Boom. Hits us pretty good. Okay, my pets are still doing okay, though, so that's good. All right, so I don't think we need to rescue uh, Pomprickle because we already have one. There's a video here to watch. If you don't understand something, make sure you're watching the video. That content is super important. Complete the statement for the number 43. The digit 3 is in the 1's place and has a value of 3. 1's place and has a value of 3. Not the 10's place. 40 is there. A four is. Uh, one's place and has a value of 30. That's wrong. Ten's place, no. Okay, so A is our correct answer. Let's cast that spell. Woohoo! And so we just leveled up a skill here. Place value. Awesome. And it looks like it's a rank up too. Make sure you celebrate those. Those are, it's really fun. It's really exciting uh, to get those. So make sure you celebrate those as you get your rank ups. All right, goodbye, Pomprickle. We won. Woohoo! Awesome. 21 battle stars each. And let's go ahead and open up our chest, and then we will see if we can get this last mangrove. And awesome, we got some florins. We got some gold. Thank you for letting us know, Newt. And let's pick this one up. All right. Ooh, we got the firefly. Cool. Wasn't even going for that. I was figuring that would be too close to this other monster. So let's go ahead and click this. One more. We only need one more. I'm going to open up this box and see what's inside. 50 gold and 15 florins. That's awesome. Okay, the last mangrove is over here. I'm going to get over here so that I'm kind of away from the other monsters. And then I'm going to come on over here. I'm also going to see if there's a little secret area under here. There might be a little secret area under there. All right. So... Vine Queen. Oof, she sounds scary. She sounds tough. Supernova. Here we come. What number do these base 10 blocks show? Well, so I'm going to go ahead and count on by 10s, and then I'll come back and count on by 1s. So 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 51, 52, 53, 54, 55, 56. So 56 base 10 blocks. Let's cast our spell. Woohoo! And up we go, and then down we come. All right. Let's see what Vine Queen does. 
Forest Hurricane, boom, 1,200 points of damage. Okay, we are able to do another Supernova, which is awesome. Uh, what number did these base 10 blocks show? Count with me, 10, 20, 30, 40, 45, 46, 47. All right, 47. So um, as we're moving in, into second grade, once you're starting to look at getting to third grade skills, counting in that way, it's uh, quite important to go ahead and be working, playing around with the numbers and really sort of eyeing how the numbers are working. So as you're doing these exercises, make sure you're kind of challenging yourself a little bit to push your understanding of math a little bit further. Yeah, Vine Queen, I definitely want to rescue you. You look super cute. All right, so let's go ahead and 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 53, 57, 59. So 59, let's cast our spell. Woohoo! And come to us, Vine Queen. All right. So we have Vine Queen. We got a new pet. That's awesome. Okay, let's finish up with this Arboreal. 1,208 points of damage. Okay, Falling Star Smash. What number do these base 10 blocks show? 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 82. 82 blocks. All right. Cast your spell. If you're not, if you're not able to count as fast as I am, no worries at all. But we do want to, since we're in second grade, working through second grade, we do want to be doing stuff a little bit faster and um, uh, getting more comfortable with the numbers. So yeah, do you enjoy doing you? Um, and as we're looking, sort, sort of getting closer to third grade content, third grade math, uh, we do want to be doing a little bit faster. All right. I can't believe we are going to be getting all of the mangroves today. That is awesome. So I'm going to come down here, see if there's a little area. It doesn't look like there, there is one. Okay, that's kind of, it looks like a sort of a tricky area where they might put something. Just click around here a little bit. Okay, I'm not seeing anything. So let's go ahead and open up this treasure chest. Ooh, earth robe. Yeah, let's wear that. That is awesome. Okay, and then let's collect our mangrove. Well, let's head back, okay? Yeah, I wanted to open the treasure chest before getting the mangrove because... We can just go right straight back to Florida. Well done! Thank you, Flora. All right, 200 gold coins. According to the Mandrakes, the Trip Trop Trio ordered the Sprakes to steal something from me. Oh no, not the Trip Trop Trio. This forest is mischievous and confusing. <laughs> Sounds like it to me, too. Track down the Trip Trop Trio, defeat them, and bring back what they stole. Trip Trop Trio. Say that 43 times fast. Trip Trop Trio, Trip Trop Trio, Trip Trop Trio. Woo, that is a tongue twister. Okay, so let's go ahead and come on over here. Collect our Firefly. Awesome. And uh, we are going to go ahead and say goodbye today. Uh, next time we are on, we will find the Trip Trop Trio, and we will go ahead and get the Trip Trop Trio. Uh, <laughs> Trip Trop Trio. I love that. That makes me happy. Um, and, uh, we will also be, uh, seeing what they stole from Flora. So I hope we're able to make it all the way to the Trip Trop Trio next time. Uh, take care. Enjoy yourselves. Keep on prodiging on. Have a wonderful summer, guys. Um, and I'll see you on here next time. Take care. Bye-bye.